be with you in a sec. I'm just flicking through your comments on my last video. Well, not my last video, I managed to sneak in a little vlog, so thanks to everyone who watched that, but my last guitar-related video was on hammer-ons and pull-offs, and I asked you guys at the end to let me know in the comments below what riffs taught you how to play hammer-ons and pull-offs. And so many of you said the same thing. Mike Burton Phillipson, Over the Hills and Far Away. School Friend Steve, Over the Hills and Far Away. The Jester, Over the Hills and Far Away. G, Over the Hills and Far Away. Farm Away? Over the Hills and Farm Away. <laughs> Sounds like uh, an order that Jeremy Clarkson would give to Caleb. Mark Hill, Over the Hills. Well, obviously you had to learn that one, didn't you, Mark? I like what school friend Steve said here. Over the Hills and Far Away, a song I just had to learn and soon figured out that I couldn't move my fingers and strum fast enough to play it correctly. Thus, I learned hammer-ons and pull-offs. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how I play that little intro riff. Have fun. Now, there were a lot of complaints in the Achilles Last Stand lesson. I told you I can't say it fast. A lot of you were complaining that there was no story time. I thought I'd give you a break from it, but apparently not. Right, what album are we on? Houses of the Holy, 298. 298? You having a laugh? I can't even count to 298. The Ocean, Gone Too Far, Do You Make, uh, The Crunch. Over the Hills and Far Away, and a glorious photo of Mr. Robert Plant there, looking spectacular. Okay, in terms of production, over the Hills and Far Away was originally entitled Next One, Then, Many Many Times. It's one of the tracks that Paige had prepared before going to the studio. Uh, on this occasion it was Olympic Sound Studios in London. Uh, that's where the band were based, April 72. The song's opening bears an uncanny resemblance to that of White Summer, an instrumental that is inspired by an old Irish folk song known as She Moved Through the Fair. And it was adapted for guitar by Davy Graham in 63. Apparently in April 67, while still a member of the Yardbirds, Page recorded it accompanied by Chris Caron on the tabla. And it features on the band's last opus, Little Games, 1967. And my arm's falling off now, so we better put that down. Things you need to know. Are you ready for it? You're gonna cheer. We're in standard tuning. We don't need a capo and you need to be exceptionally cool to be able to play it. So we're all good. I'm good, you're good, let's go. I'm going to start off by showing you all the different chords that we're going to need isolated and then we can work through the picking pattern together. So you're going to need a G, D major, C add 9, G slash B, or G over B, B flat 6, I'm going with B flat 6 there because we've got the root, 5th, major 3rd, and then that open G in the middle is the major sixth. And then slide that up two frets. That's just a C. You've got the root, the fifth, another fifth because of the open G string, and then the major third. Here's the first section we're going to learn slow. We open with this cool little hammer-on pull-off lick. 
open G string, hammering onto the second fret with the index finger and then pulling that back off to open. Then you're going to take the third finger to the fourth fret of the D, pull that off to open and then hit the open G again. You might get a little bit of bleed between the D and the G. I try to kind of um, bring the picking hand back in as I pick that G just so it rings out by itself. Okay, then you're going to put your first chord on, G. And the rhythm is down, up, up, down. It's really important to keep the hand moving here. Don't go down, up, up, down and keep it rigid. Keep it bouncing. It keeps it fluent and in time. Now we've got this lick. Very comparable to the first one. Starts in the same place, hammer on pull off, open G to second fret. Come down to the fourth fret of the D, but you don't pull off. This time you're gonna go back to the open G, and then you're gonna hit the fourth fret of the G with the third finger, pull that off to the second fret index, and then pull that off to the open. To finish, you're going to hit the open D string. Now what I do here, after I pull off the open G, I just leave that index finger on there, um, deadening the string so that the open D rings out by itself. I can't remember on the track whether or not uh, they bleed out over each other. Either way, I've got you covered there. That was both ringing out. That was with the index finger dampening the G string. So now we land on our second chord, D major, and the rhythm is going to be down, down, up, down, up. What's really interesting is if you listen to the first hammer on pull off lick before the G, it seems fairly straight. And then the one that goes into the D almost has like a little jig to it. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I've just had some very important news come in. It is now illegal for you to not like this video if you are enjoying it. And it's even more illegal for you to not hit subscribe and the bell next to it. Um, if you have any problem with this, please put it in the comments below. Okay, as you were. Here's the second part we're going to learn, a little bit slower. So it starts exactly the same as the first one. But on that last downstroke of the G chord, I just want you to hit the root note. Then we've got the same hammer on pull off lick before the D chord. But the rhythm this time is just going to be down, down, up. Then we've got this lick. So I'm going to hit the open A twice. The first one's very quiet and it sounds like he hits it on an upstroke. Then you're going to hit the second fret with the index finger. Flat roll that index finger so you can also hit the second fret of the D and then go back and forth between those two strings. And then hit open D, second fret, open D, index finger. I also put a little bit of palm muting on that just to kind of chunk it up a little bit. Now when we get to that G chord, it's the same rhythm, down, up, up, down. But after that last down, I like to snag a very quick upstroke on the open G, and then I hit it again to start the hammer on pull off lick. But that rhythm on the D this time is gonna be down, down, up, down. Then we've got the first hammer on pull off riff again, 
but this time we cut it short. We don't hit the open G string at the end. We just pull off to the open D and then move to our C add 9 chord. Now for the rhythm here I like to pick down, down on the A, then the D. And then for the top half of the chord I go down, down, up. Moving to that G slash B, I hit the root note twice this time. And the top part of the rhythm is the same. And then moving to this B flat 6 chord, I'm just going to show you the rhythm here uh, as it moves up two frets to the same chord shape, but it's now C. Um, because in the feedback um, from you guys in the comments, when it's been a more complex rhythm, like something like Ramble On, you said you've actually found it easier to just copy slower, or you're more than happy to grab the tab on Patreon. So here's that rhythm. The only thing I'll say is to watch out for that double down accenting when we slide up to the C chord. So that was my spin on the intro of Over the Hills and Far Away. It's actually really tricky to play that. Um, the hammer on pull off part, I'm fine with. It was the, the rhythm going between that kept catching me out. I felt like I wanted to play for longer, but it cuts in and out at kind of um, irregular places. But again, as always, slow it down, repeat it, and you'll nail it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to thank you for today's video because that was the riff that taught all of you how to play hammer-ons and pull-offs when you were younger. Maybe it's teaching some people now. Um, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe the bell, leave me a comment. And if you want some extra learning materials and a chat, head over to Patreon. You know the drill. Now, I'm going to leave you for another week. Okay? Can you last that long? Of course you can. All right. I'll see you later.